Now Qualcomm recently showcased their slightly different flagship SoC, the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. And now we have infos about its successor, which might be called the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Now most of the SoCs in the Android world have an octa-core CPUs with 3 clusters, 1 plus 3 plus 4. But it looks like it's about to change. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 will feature unusual 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 CPU configuration, according to Leaker Digital Chat Station, who has been quite reliable though. The Leaker claims that SM8550 Kai Lua, I don't know, which apparently is the model number and the code name of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, will be based on TSMC 4 in a process node. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 has the 1 plus 3 plus 4 CPU cluster design. Featuring one prime X2 core, the Cortex X2 core, three Cortex A17 cores, and four high efficiency Cortex A510 cores. Now, a few years back, flagship chips used to have four high efficiency cores and four performance cores. Now, you can look at the Snapdragon 845. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 will, however, have one prime Cortex X3 core, which is yet to be announced, two Cortex A720 cores, two Cortex A17 cores of the current model and three efficient Cortex A510 cores. The tipster also adds that it will come with Adreno 740 GPU. Now the Cortex X3 and the A720 promises up to 30% more peak performance, peak CPU performance compared to the X1 cores of the Snapdragon 888. Now it definitely looks smaller of an improvement if, if you compare it with the current Snapdragon flagship chip, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 or 8 Plus Gen 1. It may be that the performance measured at equal clock speeds, but because we are hearing that the chip will be based on TSMC's 4 and process node, we can expect even higher clock speeds. And so more performance. That's it. And this is gonna be the first chip in the Android world at the very least to feature four different types of CPU cores. That is crazy cool. I can see the performance boost gonna be there and the stability of it, but I don't know how efficient it will be in terms of day-to-day -day tasks. Now as for the 740 GPU, we don't know much but it will use same architecture as the current Adreno 730 GPU. So we have to wait for more news to come in, or we have to wait till quarter fourth of this year, cause usually that's the time when Qualcomm announces its flagship chips every year. So yeah, that's about it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And yeah, check out my website on your computer, tablet, or your phone, jointheavit.com, link down below. It's for everything tech. You're gonna get all these and more tech news way faster than these videos. These videos take a lot more time and effort to create. So subscribe to this channel and like this video as I appreciate that and definitely visit my website or watch my other videos. Bye and take care.